guys in this video we're going to learn how to include your javascript file and css file in your plugin uh, we'll also learn how to include your css uh, and javascript file for your backend uh, as well as for your frontend so in the previous video we learned how to create the main file for the plugin and, and then we also learned uh, to create the custom functions.php uh, obviously we haven't got anything inside of it just yet uh, all we have done is just included the custom functions.php into our uh, main plugin file, which is admin menu builder. So, what we're going to do is we'll create a new folder which is called inc, which is for includes. Uh, this will have all the uh, files that we want to include, uh, and then we'll create a separate folder for CSS. So, it will include our CSS files. Uh, we can also create a folder for admin so it can have some admin files okay and then uh, we can also create a folder called a vendor inside of which we can have all the third-party um, files as well as our javascript file so create vendor and inside of vendor we're going to create a new directory which will be called JS so include our JavaScript file. Okay, now we're going to include our um, style.css into this. So let's include our style.css. So I'll say style style.css. Okay, let me cancel this because it selected a different extension. Okay, so style sheet style.css. So I'm creating style.css inside of my CSS directory. Uh, then I'm including, I'm going to create uh, a JavaScript file main.js inside of my JS folder, which is inside of vendor. So let's do that. So it's main.js. Okay, so these are the files that we have created. These are just the basic files that you would normally use in a plugin. You may not necessarily uh, use all of them, uh, but um, yes, in case if you want to use them, I'm just going to explain to you how to include them. Uh, for your plugin to work, you don't necessarily have to have a directory and include all of the files inside of it if you, it's going to be just for uh, one particular reason. For example, you can see this hello.php. Uh, this is also a plugin with a plugin name and all of that stuff in the header, uh, but this is not included in the folder or directory. Uh, so this is just doing basic stuff. That's why they haven't really put that in directory, but it's always best practice to put that in a directory in case if you want to include more files later on so that they don't get messed up with other files over here inside of the plugin directory. Okay, cool. So we've created the style.css inside of the CSS folder. We've created the main.js. Now we learn how to include them. So what we're going to do is we'll go to custom functions.php. Let's just zoom in. Okay, and uh, the first thing we're going to do is we will define some constants. Okay, so let's just put some information in the header I'm just go doing copy paste to save time it's okay so this is the custom functions plugin uh, we're going to go ahead and define constants uh, file includes uh, we'll also enqueue the style sheets enqueue the style sheets and scripts over here okay and the bad package just in the name of my plugin the first constant I'm going to de uh, define I'm going to name it as IHS admin menu URI so basically this is going to be the URI uh, path up until uh, our uh, plugin. So uh, define is the name of the PHP function which will allow you to define a constant. It accepts two parameters. The first one is the name of the constant and the second one is the path uh, that will take you to or the value basically of that constant. So the value of this constant is basically the plugin URL. So plugin URL uh, is a WordPress function. Uh, inside of which it takes one parameter which is the name of your plugin so I'll put over here admin menu builder that's the name of my plugin so I'm going to copy it and paste it okay uh, now if you want to see that that's what it returns then all we have to do is just echo this we'll do echo save it and let's go back to the front end Um, so 
So what we'll do is uh, we'll see echo and then it should echo the value of our constant and just we'll just do WP die. We won't go in the uh, back end, but this just the uh, sorry we won't go in the front end. This will be the back end, basically uh, our dashboard, uh, which was this and just refresh the page. So we can see that it's giving me the path, uh, which is my URL, um, the WordPress testing, which is the WordPress um, directory inside of which then it's WP content plugins folder. So WP content then plugins folder, and then admin menu builder because that's what we written over here as the name of a plugin. So it has given me the path up until the plugin. So at the time when we are including the style sheets and scripts, we would need the um, URI. Uh, so instead of writing them repeatedly, we can just define the constant so that we can reuse this value, uh, so that we don't have to type it again. Okay. All right. So let's define some more constants. Just going to do copy paste. Okay. So I just admin menu JS URI. So basically, this is going to give me the path up until the JavaScript folder main dot uh, JavaScript folder. Uh, so I'm going to use plugin URL and obviously I need to use the name of my plugin over here. And then I'm just going to append the vendor and JS uh, next to it. So that gives me path which will be um, up until the JS folder. Okay. Similarly, this one as well will give me the path, path up until uh, CSS folder. If you want to know that's what's actually being returned out of here, you can just... Um, you go over here and same thing echo and I'm going to put that as constant so this, I'm going to get the value of the constant which should be giving me the path up until the JS folder which is this so and then I'm going to do WP die over here so that I can clearly see what's going on okay we'll go into the back end refresh the page and sure enough, you can see it's given me path up until the JS folder, which is inside of the vendor directory of my plugin. Okay, cool. So similarly, this will give me the path up until the CSS folder. If you want to know that, that's what it's doing. You can just echo it out over here, like we've just done. Refresh the page, and sure enough, it's giving me the path up until the CSS folder. Okay, cool. So let's get rid of this. The next thing we need to do is include these files, which is main.css and then, sorry, main.js and the style.css. So for that, all we know is that uh, we need to use our custom hook, which is wpnq scripts, and then hook our custom function to it. So I've already done that to save time. So I'm just going to do that. Just one moment. All of these quotes will be there on the GitHub. Uh, I'll leave the link over there so you don't have to worry about it, T uh, like typing it now. Oh, because I'm checking that if the function doesn't exist, I just, um, I can just change the name to admin. Menu. So this is the name of the function. Before defining the function, you should always check if the function exists. Uh, the reason for this is that uh, tomorrow, if there's another developer who wants to override your function, he can do that uh, by redefining it. Okay. So and also so that you don't get any errors in case if someone already has defined that function, it's always best practice to uh, use namespacing, which is prefix it uh, with some unique name, like I've done IHS uh, over here. Okay. So. This is going to include the admin, uh, sorry, the um, style sheet and this and the um, JavaScript file. So what we are doing over here inside of this function, we are using the WPNQ style like we do for themes as well. And the first parameter it accepts is basically a unique name so that it can be uh, used and you know included later on for any purposes. So this is a unique name for the style sheet because tomorrow there could be more um, style.css, so it has to be different. Okay, and then I'm using the same path, uh, which is basically this path, and this is going to give me the path up until my uh, root directory uh, of my plugin, which is admin menu builder, and then I'm just going to append style.css 
but since um, this is going to be style.css inside of a CSS folder then I need to use the uh, this constant basically okay so this is the constant I'm going to use so this constant gives me path up until the CSS folder and then inside of which I have got my style.css and that's what we've done over here okay great uh, similarly for the including the uh, main.js will use wpnq script function which is a wordpress function we'll use a handle which is a unique name then we'll use the uh, constant that we've just created on top uh, which is i just admin menu which will give me the path up until our js folder and then i'm going to append that name to main.js so we can have the entire path up until the main.js uh, file uh, the third parameter it accepts uh, this particular function accepts is basically uh, the dependency and uh, dependency is jQuery which would mean that I would want the jQuery file to be included uh, before my main.js file loads and uh, as we all know that WordPress already provides some of the pre-existing libraries so we don't have to include jQuery files separately uh, if we just define uh, jQuery over here in, inside of this array as its dependency then it will, the WordPress will make sure that jQuery file loads before this file loads the next one is the version number we are keeping that to null and the next one is um, in footer which means do you want this uh, JavaScript file to be included in the footer of HTML or header so we are saying in footer true which means it will be included just before the body tag ends then I'm going to use the add action function which is uh, going to take the first parameter as the WordPress hook so WPNQ scripts is a WordPress hook that WordPress provides so that you can hook into your style sheets and scripts and things like that um, so I'm using this hook and the second parameter is basically the name of the function inside of which you're calling these functions to include your style sheets and the JavaScript file okay now how do we know that it's it's done uh, so all we have to do is just go over here refresh the page uh, go on to the front end okay and just do a page source look for the style.css is it included you can clearly see that plugins admin menu builder that's the name of a plugin let me zoom in it admin menu builder css style.css this file is included if you click on it obviously it will show blank because we haven't uh, you know put anything inside of it yet similarly our JavaScript file was main.js let's search for main.js and sure enough you can see that we've got our plugins admin menu builder that's the name of a plugin vendor js main.js included again if you click on it you won't get anything because we haven't really written any code codes inside of it cool so in this video you've learned how to include your JavaScript file and the CSS file into the front end. Uh, in the next video we're going to learn, I don't want to make the video too long, so in the next video we're going to learn how to include your uh, JavaScript and CSS file in the back end, which means if you want to do some styling in the back end uh, over here, then how to include your uh, CSS and JavaScript file for any functionality in the back end. Okay, see you then.